Not for Profit Law presents Working with Other Organisations. Hi, I'm Sandra. I'm the CEO of the North Centre. I'm after some help for my organisation. We're a local community health centre. We know the not for profit funding landscape is changing, and we'd like to explore working with some other health organisations in our region. We think we may be better positioned for funding if we do, and we are also hoping to broaden our services. The board and staff have been discussing this, but we really need some guidance on the legal options for working with other organisations. We need to come up with a good strategy for approaching other groups. Can you help? This is a really common issue for organisations, and it's a great idea to get advice about the many different ways that organisations can work together before you come up with a strategy. The different ways groups can work together have different levels of formality and costs involved. The least formal is where organisations work together in an undocumented way, and the most formal is where groups formally merge or amalgamate. There are risks involved with taking an undocumented approach, as miscommunications can occur, and it's not always clear who is responsible for getting things done or safeguarding against risks. It's always good to have a written document. The least formal kind of written document is a memorandum of understanding. These are often not legally binding, but are still useful so that groups working together are clear about their expectations of each other. Common ways for groups to work together in a more formal way, but without fully merging or amalgamating, include forming collaborations, consortia, joint ventures or partnerships. Collaboration and consortia mean working together toward a common goal or project, but these terms don't have particular legal meanings. If they are documented, this would usually be through a project agreement or through a more complex joint venture or partnership agreement. Joint ventures and partnerships are not the same thing. A joint venture is a legal arrangement where groups agree to each contribute to a joint project. They remain separately liable for their contributions and liable to each other if they do not follow the joint venture agreement. A legal partnership has a special meaning that can be different to common use of the word partnership. A partnership means the separate organisations agree to work together on a partnership, and for that partnership they are jointly and severally liable. That means if one partner doesn't deliver on what they have said they will do, the other partner can be liable for this. Joint ventures and partnerships can be unincorporated or the organisations can incorporate a vehicle to hold the partnership or joint venture. The most formal and final way of working with other organisations is to merge or amalgamate. This is also sometimes called integrating. An amalgamation is a quick way to merge where all organisations involved are incorporated associations registered in the same state. For other kinds of mergers, for example between companies limited by guarantee or a mixture of different types of not-for-profits, a normal merger process needs to be followed. Mergers are often complicated, time-consuming and costly, so it is important to weigh up these costs against the benefits of merging. Remember that organisations can always try a less formal arrangement first. Understanding all the legal options before you start your planning will mean you're well prepared to choose the best arrangement for your work with other organisations. You can find lots of resources, including guides and checklists that explain more about the different ways to work together and all the steps involved on the Not-for-Profit Law Information Hub. This video is legal information only and is not legal advice. This video series is brought to you by Justice Connect's Not-for-Profit Law Service.